Hello everyone, and welcome to another Game Explained Game & Watch. I am John, and this is Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, as the title says right there. Um, unfortunately, we've only had about four days to play this, if that, maybe even three days. Um, so I haven't got very far. I wanted to review this, but we just didn't have the time. Um, but basically what this is, is the PlayStation 3 version of the game that launched in Japan that we never got. So yeah, here's a small history lesson. Basically, um, Tales of Vesperia was an Xbox 360 exclusive in, uh, in America and in Europe. And then the, uh, the year following that, it was localized, uh, sorry, it was uh, re-released in Japan with more and more content. So I'm going to press this a second. These are conversations that you have basically between the story. And um, they've voiced all of these, whereas in the 360 version, a lot of them were just text. It had a very different feeling to so there's a lot of like new effort going on into this version that we never had before. So not only is it a, a Switch port of Tales of Vesperia, but it's the it's the expanded version that we never got. Um, so it's kind of historical that we got this game. It's more than just a simple port. But yeah, when it comes to the port, it's uh, it's good, but it's just kind of what I expected it to be. Like it, it still looks like Tales of Vesperia. It still looks like an early Xbox 360 title. And yeah, it's not a bad looking game, um, but there are moments in the cutscenes where models just look a bit flat. So I'm meant to be going the other way, let's just uh, explore for a while first. So, yeah, so Tales of Vesperia is basically a, um, it's an action RPG, so there's real time combat. And I'll show you the combat in just a moment. And it kind of merges um, traditional RPG mechanics with almost like fighting game elements. Uh, so you, you mostly fight monsters, but we're in an area with, uh, with bandits. So I've got some magic abilities I can use. Uh, I can just press B and whack them if I wanted to. And you can block with Y, which I'm not doing now. So let me show you how you do it. There is one down. And you see that bar over on the left? When that, full, when that fills up, basically what that means is uh, we can just unleash a flurry of attacks. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very standard, but it's also um, a bit more hands-on than your average RPG. And yeah, it's been a while since I played the Vanilla 360 version, but I liked it a lot. Um, it was one of my favorite RPGs of that generation, actually. And if I had to like rank my my favorite Tales games, Vesperia might come up pretty high on that list. Definitely up there with uh, with Symphonia as well. But yeah, it's a great series, and it's great to have it here on the Switch. Um, it's a long game as well. So the 360 original was maybe around 50 hours long. Uh, this is even longer than that. So it's a it's a chunky monkey, it's a beefy boy. Oh, we can't go this way. <laughs> um, so basically, I think I'm kind of trapped in this area now because of just where I am in the story. But we can still explore a bit. Let's see what's over here. Um, but one thing I do appreciate about this port is um, the load times are very quick. And it's also pretty silky smooth too. I'm, I'm not sure on the exact frame rate, but it seems um, pretty smooth so far. There we go. So yeah, these, these battles are all pretty simple at the moment, but you do get some very uh, complicated ones down the line. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if we're going to see any complex ones here. Oh, no, we've got two battles. Maybe we will. So basically, yeah, there aren't random encounters, but if you encounter two foes at the same time, this will happen. So watch out. Oh, no. I'm kind of uh, stuck over here. So if you do get stuck, you can run off into the uh, into other planes. You're not just stuck on a 2D plane. In fact, let's use our meter. There we go. Just hack away at him. Not so bad. Yes, it's all very simple, but um, it, it's it's just a great RPG with a brilliant story, brilliant characters, uh, and the soundtrack's great too. I'm not sure if there's anything over here. It, it seems like it keeps going, but I'm not convinced if it's leading anywhere. Let's work together. But yeah, if you're after an RPG on the Switch, uh, this is a great one to go with. Because we just found out that um, the Final Fantasy ports, 10 and 12, are coming in April. So you've got a while. So this game's kind of perfect for that. But yeah, I'll, I'll move along with the story um, once we just see what's over here first. It looks like there's stuff. I mean, yeah, there's like... Oh, the weather's changed. There's definitely stuff over here. 
But whether we're meant to be here is another story entirely. I have a feeling we're not. Yeah, dead end. Alright, let's make our way back to town then and just follow the story. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, I, I played the 360 original when it came out, so it's been a while. But I've already uh, noticed some new elements. There's new party members, for one. Um, not in our current party, but we have um, buttheads with a, a little pirate girl who is going to be in the party, just hasn't joined yet. So I'm not entirely sure how, how far she comes into it. But it feels like she's coming into it soon, because she, just, she was just in a major plot element. Um, but what, what's cool about these new characters is so far they don't feel thrown in. Like, it feels like they've always been here, which is impressive. Like, if you're, it's, it's hard to just add new characters to a story, uh, particularly party members, and make it feel natural. But, yeah, so far they have. Uh, I've played it a bit in handheld mode too, and it, it looks pretty smooth. Like, it, it's, it's definitely not the prettiest game. Um, the textures are pretty dull by today's standards. Um, but it, it looks good in handheld mode. If anything, it looks better in handheld mode. Yeah, but my, my only real complaint, uh, visual, visual wise, is the faces look very flat in cutscenes. And uh, maybe we'll see that soon. But at certain angles, um, the textures just don't really work on the faces. It looks good in battles, though. Repeat is, of course, the best character. That's the dog. You want revenge? Bring? That's nice. And um, because they basically added new lines to this game after like 10 years, um, not all the voice actors reprise their roles. Um, Troy Baker voices the main character, Yuri. And um, I'm pretty sure that most of his lines are still Troy Baker. But um, the new ones seem to have been performed by a stand-in actor. And I'm not entirely sure... I, I, I mean, I, I haven't really been able to tell which ones are Troy and which ones are him. So I guess he does a good job. Um, but I, I looked at the credits for the game, and they don't, they don't actually credit the, the English cast. <laughs> so I, can't, I don't know for sure if it's all Troy Baker or if it's not. He sounds like Troy Baker, though. But yeah, the, the, the credits for the game only have the Japanese voice actors. Or at least what I could see anyway. Maybe I skimmed past them too fast. Ooh, wrong way. But yeah, the uh, loading times are fast. That, that's a good demonstration of that. Let's go over to the town. So we got to go all the way over there. But yeah, if you're just sort of after a big, sprawling RPG, this is the one. This is a big boy. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Oh, no. There's a tad too many of them. So yeah, what I like is it's real time, but it still gives you like breathing room a lot of the time. Like, you're not just sort of forced to um, fumble through menus while enemies are attacking you, like a lot of RPGs do. So I appreciate that. Let's get out of here. Oh no, someone heal. I think she just healed someone else. I think I might be in, in more need. No! It's okay. I think one of them's got a uh, life bottle to heal us with. Oh no, our battery's low! Have you ever seen a pro, pro controller battery go low? Is this the first? I'm pretty sure it's impossible. There we go. They're nearly dead. See, so yeah, I wish I could have reviewed this, because I, I did like the original game a lot. Um, just didn't have the time. I know a lot, of, not a lot of outlets got this game before Christmas, but I think we inquired at just the wrong moment. So we didn't end up getting our copy until, like, the, uh, the 6th of January. Unfortunately. But yeah, it's still a great RPG, and I've had a great time with it so far. And hopefully this gives you somewhat of an impression. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's get back to town. I'm probably going to the inn, because our HP is rather low after, like, fumbling around. But it's always good to grind up a bit. Uh, so in towns, the, the camera is uh, is fixed. You can't move it around. <clears throat> which uh, kind of gives it like an old-school RPG kind of feeling. Which I somewhat appreciate. So yeah, I'll give you a little rundown of the story so far. 
So, um, I won't spoil anything, I'll just give you a little, uh, little brief introduction to where we are. So basically, um, we are a wanted criminal, um, but we're wanted for reasons which are questionable. So we basically, um, we live in the slums, and somebody stole this little, this little cog thing, basically, which keeps the, the water supply intact, um, which has made all, all of the, um, the area lose their water. And we've gone to find it again. Uh, at the same time, though, there's there's dragons, there's uh, uh, there's basically police after us. There's a lot of stuff going wrong, but we can pull through. There we go. Let's continue the story. What the hell am I doing here? Here we go. Whoa! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! I'm not ready. Yeah, this is where the game's budget kind of, kind of comes into play. Like, you can see it's not always pretty at certain angles. These are all Blastia cores. Oh, no. Why are there so many? And they're all just cores. Like, the faces no look idea. very flat in, in this shot. This many Could Apart from Repeat, Repeat looks core. good. Could be. But I thought the one behind everything was a huge guy with one eye. That doesn't fit Rego at all. Then he might not be the only one pulling the strings. I wonder if the core from the lower quarter is here someplace. Maybe. Sorry, none of these are big. No. Oh no! Ambush! Three of the same guy? I knew it! These guys are with the Blood Alliance! They're one of the five master guilds! Apparently the Blood Alliance all look identical. Way. Right, good thing we have this all sorted out. There we go. <laughs> Quick. Uh, there you go. They're dead. Just what is the magistrate up to? Very quick dealing with them. So I'm assuming there's more of them on board. Out of my way. That'll be a yes. Oh no. Was that spineless worm Rago running from a bunch of kids? One-eyed giant. So you're the one getting people to bring you all these cores? Maybe I am. That's a big sword. Quick. Clip through the wall. How flattering. But it's pushy guys like you. Barbos, what are you waiting for? Dispose of these I did all Probably shouldn't have used my bar in the last battle. I have a feeling we're gonna need it again. Wait! He's still inside. Maybe not. We'll Maybe later. I know he's literally just getting away on a lifeboat. <clears throat> well, thank you for leaving us with uh, with the big boat. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this guy again. <clears throat> so this guy's in the intro. He's basically a whack job. Looks like we're stuck with this guy. Ah, he's, he's so anime. He is basically the that if I if I imagine what anime looks like, I just think of that guy. With this music. Yeah, I should have saved that bar. Oh well. You think you can kill me? Go ahead. Try it. Trust Ooh, me. No. I will. Yes! Cry out! Ride in pain! Die for me! What the hell are you trying to do? Please! We have to catch her go! <laughs> you can't hurt. So we'll just keep pounding you until the end. Oh no, I should probably back away. I think I'm stunned. So you might have noticed I have a TP bar. Basically what that is, is um, every single time I make a melee attack, that will fill up, and that's basically my, my magic meter. Oh no, not looking good. Do we have any more life bottles? Let's see. Uh, wrong one. We do! We have lots! Right, I will do one for repeat in a moment. Oh, 
Oh no. This is not going good. Let's, before everyone dies, let's just heal uh, who we can. What do we have? I'm not sure we have anything. No, we're doomed. This battle is not going well. Yeah, we're dead. We're deader than dead. Yeah, there you go. That is a, a good example of how not to battle. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll just give you a bit more of a tour of the world. We have definitely not <laughs> done a great job there. I think I should be higher level at this point, to be honest. But uh, a good part about this game is if you are struggling, you can just lower the difficulty and keep going. I'm not going to do that. I like to grind up and sort of be at a consistent level. But um, if, if I were struggling, we could very well just do that. But yeah, let's give you a bit more of a tour of the town, a bit more of a tour of the world, or at least what I can give you a tour of. Um, but yeah, I am having a great time with this game so far. And there's lots of great RPGs this year. You've got all those Final Fantasy games, you've got this, you've got... Um, there's more. <laughs> I'm sure there's more slipping my mind, but there's, there's a lot more coming. There's uh, Grandia 2 and Grandia 1. So if I wanted to, I could speak to this fella and play a dice game. With this very um, action-packed music going on. Let's bet. Uh, let's go. Let's go high or low, and go with high. Is that good or bad? No, bad. Let's try odd or even. That's. I think odd or even is probably um, a bit more likely. It's probably the same, but uh, <laughs> we'll try it regardless. Play a game. Even or odd. Yay! Let's stick with even. So basically, you keep doing this for a couple of rounds, and uh, I don't like to change my answer. Uh, yeah, good. Let's go with... Should we go with odd this time? Uh, let's stick even. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It broke. Fix it. There we go, too bad. But yeah, this, this port is also on um, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and I believe PC as well. So it's gone from being uh, 360 exclusive worldwide to basically being on every platform you can imagine, apart from the Wii U. Uh, anything down here for us? I don't think there is. My apologies, the entire wharf is closed off by a magic... Oh, well, thank you very much. Let's just go back into the overworld. But yeah, it's... um. It's kind of, it's, if you play the original game, you're definitely getting more of the same, but there's a lot more sprinkled in there, though. Um, so you, you might have to play for a while to get to the new stuff, but um, it's definitely worth a, a, a new playthrough, especially considering the original version came out a while ago now. Um, over a decade ago. It's, it's, been a, it's been a long time. Let's just do, like, two more battles, then we'll wrap it up. But I hope this has given you a good impression of the game, uh, even though, you know, I've not really progressed in the story, and when we did try, I died. But yeah, it's, it can be challenging, but it's also just a ton of fun. And we are still quite early on, so there's more spells to learn, there's more um, wild attacks to do. And of course, there's more party members to play around with. You want revenge? So actually, speaking of party members, we have um, we have five at the moment. So let me just show you guys who we have. So we have Carol there, uh, and if we wanted to, we could switch one of these guys out for Carol. But I quite like the party we have here. Um, actually, I, I might swap Rita for Carol. I'm not entirely sure. Estelle's a great healer. Repeats just um, he's a he's he's your best friend. He's a good dog. You got to have him in. You can't play Tales of Vesperia and not have Repeat in your party. Come on. Oh no. Ooh, Rapid's learned something new. Alright, one more. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, let's just go over here a second. I don't think I can do anything else here. 
Because if I try going back into that forest, it's going to be like, no, 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 you can't come through here. Um, but you can have a little glimpse of the world. There's a nice tree over there. That's a nice place uh, to visit. But yeah, uh, seeming as, you know, it, it, there, there is quite a bit that's new, but just having it on the Switch and being able to play it anywhere you are, that's kind of a selling point in, in and of its own. But if you want to play Tales of Vesperia for the updated visuals, I would probably suggest awesome. being like setting your expectations elsewhere, because it's it's uh, it's a good looking game, but it's not it's not amazing looking by today's standards. So this isn't much of a remaster um, from a technical sense. It's it's more of a remaster from a content sense. And there we are. So we should probably wrap it up here, because there's not a whole lot more to see in this area. But I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this game and watch, and a little a look at Tales of Asperia. And um, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on my progress for, um, with this game on Twitter, or uh, in the podcast. Because it is a great game, it's a really nice, fun RPG, and I'm glad that more people get to play it now. Especially with all the features. So thank you so much for watching, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for a lot more on RPGs, and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!